Snehalia is a non-government organisation founded in 1989 for women and children in distress. It's situated in Ahmednagar, an industrial city at the centre of the Maharashtra state of India. Ahmednagar is surrounded by some of India's biggest and most important military bases and training schools. It also houses 19 sugarcane factories, employing workers from the poorer sectors of Indian society, along with various pilgrimage sites that attract millions of visitors from around the world. This all adds up to provide a constant stream of customers to its thriving sex industry in the red light districts, where there are an estimated 3,000 prostitutes. Today, Snehalia's rehabilitation centre is home to 400 children and 50 women rescued from the slums and red light districts in Ahmednagar. Many are HIV positive and have no other way to access the life-saving medications provided by Snehalia at no cost. Snehalia's founder is Dr. Girish Kulkarni. His remarkable crusade to end the injustices endured by women and children in exploitative situations started as a young boy and continues to the present day. His story is nothing short of remarkable. I feel that the strongest part, the strongest, strongest will before creating the institution is creating a home because in home you get love, you get affection, you get support, you get hope. And uh, creating home is my original desire for this homeless, familyless kid. Because in home, family can be created. Because people stand together as a family. Family is not, which is something biologically connected with each other and all that. So, sneha alay. Alay means a home. And sneha means a love. So, in Sanskrit, the meaning of uh, home of love is a snehale. Most of the time, we get a call from uh, from the people, and they say that uh, a child is begging on the street. There is a child marriage happening. You please come and intervene in it. Snehalaya is uh, helping, assisting, motivating, and uh, uh, changing the lives of thousands of people in slums. HIV positive patients, uh, women in red light areas, children in red light areas, because nobody wants to go to them and help them uh, as Snehala is doing. Snehalia serves 11,000 vulnerable people in Ahmednagar's slums and red light district with 18 initiatives, including a community care centre, an IT centre, community radio station, a shelter for disabled persons, and an adoption centre for orphaned and abandoned infants. Snehalia's community education centres provide primary education and health screenings to 1,200 children living in Ahmednagar's slums. In partnership with Childline, a 24-7 national hotline for children in distress, Snehalia receives 250 calls a day related to child endangerment and abuse in Ahmednagar. People in Nagar know there is an NGO called Snehalaya. They just know, yes, there, there is a Snehalaya. They are working for the red light area. They are working for the small children. But when they actually visit here, they say, no, no, this is a very big thing. Instead of thinking of Snehalaya as a single entity, they come to know, my God, this is a very big movement. And this is not only for Nagar city. This should spread all over India. Snehalia's newest and most ambitious project to date is Himmethgram, the Hamlet of Courage, a residency for HIV-positive people and their families. HIV patients has to spend their day and night and their whole life on the road because in, in the rural India, you will find that uh, they are outcasted, they are untouchable. It's a new generation of untouchables, we can say, in India. We are providing them a life of a human being. Unlike other Snehalaya projects, Himatran is still in its uh, infancy. Himatran is uh, something unique. There is uh, nothing like this in the world as far as uh, I know. Because uh, this is the first time I've come across a place where HIV positive people uh, can stay with their families. I mean, it's a home for HIV positive uh, people. Uh, this place will be a township. 
meaning that it will be self sufficient in different kinds of things we'll have our own uh, opd here a hospital we'll have a meditation center a prayer center we'll we having our own uh, garden here a recreation area uh, we already have a tank where we can store water and uh, we envisage that uh, this place will be a residence for at least uh, 400 to 500 women and children here women in distress sir. In June 2014, severe weather caused hundreds of thousands of pounds of damage to the Himmethgrim greenhouse and reservoir, forcing them to halt further expansion while repairs are carried out. मैं उधर एक कस्टमर के साथ में डिस्को बार में गई थी तो मैं उधर से फटक से मैं हो उधर से भाग के फिर मैंने टैक्सी पकड़ी उधर से बॉम्बे से मैंने टैक्सी पकड़ी फिर मैं पोली चौकी में पहुंची मैं चाहती हूँ कि मेरी बेटी मैं आगे चल के मैं उसका भविष्य देख सकती हूँ अभी कि मैं जैसी थी वैसी मेरी बच्ची नहीं होनी चाहिए जो मैं बुराई में थी वैसी मेरी बच्ची नहीं होनी चाहिए मुझे उसको अच्छा सा भविष्य ये करने का है कि बड़ी होके वो कुछ तो बन सके कि सबकी सेवा भी कर सकती है Snehalia is facing its toughest challenge as it struggles to find funding for even its basic necessities. The majority of the organization's budget comes from grassroots fundraising. So basic need is the food, electricity charges, water charges, fuel and uh, salary of the staff. Most of the time the donors are ready to pay for the education of the children, for the uh, food sometimes, but nobody desire to donate for salary of the staff Dr Kilkarni's inspiration has given hope and life to thousands the people who are in trouble no they never get the help by others people try to neglect people try to avoid them people ran away from the problem because once nehale is nothing it's if you think of the scale of the problem it's just nothing but yes we can inspire lot many people because even one person can inspire a lot See Mahatma Gandhi was one person but he inspired a whole freedom movement of India and the mankind you can say so the power of one person is not small or power of one initiative is not small because it has a potential to inspire since its beginning in 1989 Snehalia has won many battles granting women and children their right to freedom from discrimination inequality exploitation and violence but the war is far from over india is my country all indians are my brothers and sisters i love my country and i am proud of us rich and rich heritage i shall all with a big work with it